Welcome back to Notre Dame Day. I'm Pete Byrne, and joining me now from Madison, Wisconsin, is Mara Oyster, the recruiting manager at Epic Systems, a healthcare software company whose software is used in the care of roughly 54% of all the patients treated here in the United States. Welcome to the show, Mara. Glad to hear from you here on Notre Dame Day. Thanks. I'm glad to be here. Now, over the last three years, I'm told that Epic has hired 55 students from Notre Dame's College of Arts and Letters alone. Why is the software company hiring so many liberal arts majors from Notre Dame? Uh, well, we do hire from virtually every major uh, for less technical positions. We prefer to hire smart people with the capacity to learn new skills who already have solid interpersonal skills, and that's where arts and letters students thrive. They learn how to communicate, how to present, how to think, and we find those skills are much more difficult to teach than subject matter knowledge. Uh, one fun example, one of my friends here at Epic is a corporate trainer. Uh, she graduated from Notre Dame with a degree in Italian and Chinese. But what makes her successful as a trainer is her personality. She can light up a room and she loves engaging with people. Excellent. Now, hiring employees, as you know, is a two-way street. Candidates have to like your company as much as you like them. So what makes your company so attractive for Notre Dame students? Um, I think the fact that we are a mission-focused company is a huge attraction. I'm working in healthcare. Uh, we look for candidates that are passionate about making a difference. Um, and I know for me, that was the single most important factor I was considering Epic. I wanted a career that was going to um, continue to build on um, the, the type of community service-oriented life that I was leading. Um, we also find that the best employees want to be challenged. So we give our employees ownership over projects and customer relationships early in their careers. Um, I've been with Epic 10 years, never been bored, uh, which was important for me. And then we do have a unique corporate culture. All of our staff are based in our headquarters here in Madison. And we've invested in a campus here that we feel gives our employees the space needed to do their best work. It's creative, it's collaborative, um, and it's a fun place to come to work every day. I think that all of us in the workforce can appreciate that. Mara, I understand you're a domer as well? I am, yes. We graduated in 04, I see. Tell us what dorm did you live in and what did you study? I, I was one of those arts and letters grads. Um, I studied political science and Spanish, and I lived in Lewis Hall. Very good. I'm a 99 grad, lived in Soren, so uh, we come from the same path, so to speak. I, I want to ask you this. As the recruiting manager, can you give some advice to our viewers and to the, the potential upper-class seniors, uh, seniors and juniors here on putting together resumes and what they might do to, to be attractive to a company, you, if, either your company or a company like yours? Sure. No, I, I'm so glad you asked. Um, I reviewed thousands of resumes, um, and I've seen some really good ones and some not-so-good ones. So um, the, your resume should highlight the most significant accomplishments of your career. Um, and it's, it's really best to avoid the temptation to list every single accomplishment you've had, um, no matter how minor. I, I feel like that's the, the biggest mistake that, that most job seekers um, make. When your resume becomes too wordy, uh, the, those, those significant accomplishments get drowned out by the more minor ones. So no matter how experienced you are, I always tell folks it, it is best to keep your resume to one or two pages max. Um, and that, that shows that you know how to succinctly summarize the most relevant material. So uh, the less is more theory is it what you would subscribe is. to. And uh, certainly I would imagine that that's something that most Notre Dame undergraduates, as accomplished as they tend to be, would have no problem doing if they were to take that advice. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Mara, I want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your busy schedule today to help us celebrate Notre Dame Day here. It was a pleasure visiting with you. Absolutely. Have a good day.